Well, welcome back, Coach Cruisers, and all of our Celebration Cruisers, our future Celebration Cruisers, most likely, unless you're on the inaugural cruise and you just wanted to check out this video. But um, this video is going to be from John Heald and a very special clip that Lee Mason filmed at the end of the video that you absolutely have to stick around for because 100% you will not be able to see that video anywhere else but from Lee himself just because Carnival won't allow you to get that type of video footage unless you are some type of uh, big wig within Carnival or um, they're having you film a commercial or something. So let me just tell you what John has provided you. Now, all of these videos were taken from John Heald's Facebook page, and um, they were all just little small videos that I culminated into one big giant video. So they transitioned from one to another. But let me just tell you some of the things that he covered within this video that you're going to see. And a lot of this stuff, which is so great, is behind the scenes stuff that most creators will be unable to show you because we don't have access to some of these behind the scenes areas and crew areas that only John Hill might have access to. So uh, some of the ones that you will see starts off in the casino, then Celebration Central. Um, there's a special cabin steward meeting that he uh, brings us to be part of. The medical center, which hopefully not too many of us go see, at least not uh, that we need to go there, but you get a chance to see that. The engineer room that very few of us would ever see. Uh, the piano bar, and you actually get a song from Eden along with it, Banzai Teppanyaki, Chebang. Uh, the celebration doing the limbo under a bridge, and let me tell you, it is tight, very scary, um, how close the funnel comes to hitting the bottom of the bridge. Latitudes, the new bar in the same general area as the fortune teller was on the Mardi Gras, plus the new LCD windows, Guy's Pig and Acre, Summer Landing, the new Rolls Royce in Deck 6 Central, um, the Carnival Kitchen, and as I mentioned just a second ago, Lee actually riding the Bolt Roller Coaster, which he filmed, and that was shared on both John Heald's Facebook page and Lee's page. Um, and I will actually uh, remember to put those links in the description of this video if you want to go check the individual videos out. Um, Lee, your cruise director, is Lee's Facebook page, and of course, John Heald on Facebook. Um, so here's your chance to see it on YouTube for those of you that don't belong to Facebook, but for those of you that do, again, if you want to uh, go to those pages individually so you can get updates from them, I'll be insured. I'll be sure to include that link in the description. But for now, enjoy and don't forget, like and subscribe. I just can't get away from a good time. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Covering all the bases. It's 7.45 here in the morning on this last day before the ship arrives into Southampton and starts her inaugural cruise, a journey from Southampton to Miami and her home. And I'm in the casino, which is very soon going to be buzzing and there will be much cheering as people win lots of money. I hope you win lots of money. I have to start by saying once again, this casino is so impressive. I mean, look at the incredible array of different machines. I wouldn't even know where to begin with any of these. Now, I am on the uh, starboard side, which is the smoking section. So all of this area here and all of the tables here are all uh, in the smoking section. But uh, this is a huge casino. For those of you who may not be used to this, of course, it is um, from the Mardi Gras, the same concept. It's divided, so you have the best of both worlds. And as I said, this is the... Uh... Oh, look, I'm being given a fanfare when I walk in. <laughs> I mean, it just makes, it makes me smile. It really does. Oh, my goodness, they've got ones with um, shiny knobs on. That's... Uh... Uh, the old things with handles now that one I could oh no I was gonna say I could understand but I don't know what that bit does so all of this uh, smoking but then we cross the line here 
and now we are into the non-smoking section and we have the bar that's non-smoking as well and if we look around here all the way down from where I've come you see all of this all of these wonderful machines this is all non-smoking and again all these different things that uh, I know many of you watching this will understand and know what to do with she's actually st are you staring at me and what you're not seeing right now is the crew because it's very early in the morning and it's the crew of our casinos that make such a difference. Friendly, fun. I mean, our casino hosts, some of them are as popular as our cruise directors. People want to know where a specific casino host is going to be. And they've got their desk right here. And then, of course, you've got all of the tables on this side. Again, non-smoking. Uh, you've got... Um, what is that? Heads up, hold them. Don't know what that is. That's poker, right? Um, and uh, all the machines, all the tables here, wonderful sea views. But look at the real estate we have given to, uh, to the casino here. Absolutely brilliant. There's Queenie. And On this machine, I think you need a pair to win. A pair of aces. <laughs> oh dear. And there you go, even more machines through in that room over there. And you have a tremendous amount of fun for everybody. Casino players, this is your paradise, it really is. Now, let me just come through here because we might as well continue on a quick journey on deck seven here. And let me just show you the, the backdrop here. There you go, activate the fun. And that is certainly what is going to be happening. We are going to be activating the fun. Walking with me on deck seven. Good morning, I'm sorry I can't see all the names coming up here. Why are you not in bed asleep? Come on. And we'll walk down here to the Alchemy Bar and uh, we'll finish right there. The shop of the Alchemy Bar, of which is quiet again right now, but very soon here on deck seven, it's going to be full of fun. So there you go, as a quick look at the casino, I've got lots to do. Uh, for those of you watching this, you might wanna tune in with me at 12.30 uh, local time, which is 7.30. Eastern Time, as I have a live video with Christine, our president. She's going to talk about this ship and some of the issues that might be on your mind. So, I will say from this incredible Celebration Central, wish you were here. To all of you many times, to the millions of you who read this page, some of my most favourite people on the ship are the housekeeping guys and girls who keep the ship clean, look after your cabin and do so with a smile on their faces. We've put them all in one room just for you and here they are. Sometimes words aren't necessary. Cheers. The, uh, the medical center with my knackered knee and I didn't just get one doctor, I got all of these people come to help me. Hello everybody, hi. In all seriousness, I wanted to come down to the medical center here because this wonderful group of people, by the way, not only incredible professionals, but all very good looking, apart from one. Uh, no, I'm joking. They're all going, who's that, who's that? Um, they're never in the spotlight, but I wanted to put them in the spotlight today because if you're sailing on this ship, or indeed any of our ships, you should do so in the comfort and knowledge that you're going to be wonderfully taken care of should you need it. And I know many of you watching this have had cause to uh, take um, some time in the medical center and you all have written to me and said what a wonderful job they've done. If you're sailing on Carnival Celebration, this is who you're going to meet. The senior ship's physician is the lovely doctor, 
I would love to say her name. Alejandra. Oh, Alejandra. Close. That was very close. <laughs> Hello. Doc, it's a pleasure to see you. Would you introduce your team to us, please? Yes, of course. So here in the wonderful celebration, we have a big team. Is We have two medical admins. So here, Irina, all the way from Ukraine. Irina. We had Watson from Zimbabwe. Look at we that have... smile. Look, smile. Look, look. <laughs> we have here our paramedic on duty, MJ. So we have a paramedic, and that's really important for you to know. We have MJ, and he's from? Minnesota, USA. Minnesota, USA, USA. Very good. <laughs> but a paramedic, and that's really interesting to know that. Who else do we have? I have my nurses. I have Veronica from Colombia. I have the beautiful Leticia from Bless all the way from South Africa. Uh -huh. Joanna from Portugal. I have my other nurse, Manuelito. Manuel from Colombia. Hey, Manuel. Our lead nurse, all the way from Philippines, Pink. Hello. And that really is her name. It's such a lovely Filipino. name. <laughs> no, really. Filipinos have the best names in the world. They really do. do. Pink, thank you. And I have our lovely doctors that are working side by side with me, Dr. Ugor, Hi. all the way from Turkey, yes. and Sebastian, all the way from Colombia also. Sebastian, um, can I mess his hair up? Because it's too perfect. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just want to like that. Um, tell us a little something about uh, the medical center here, it, and how long have you all been on board, and what have you been doing to get the ship ready? So yes, we've been working very hard to have this beautiful medical center, which I'm happy to say is huge and it's beautiful. We've been in Turkey for over a month now that we've been working to keep it like to the best of the standard. And my team is really looking forward to see you. Well, I hope none of you. Not really. Yes, yes I know. I, I, I hope none of you have to meet them. But if you do, even if it's just walking around the ship, maybe you bump into one of them at the coffee shop or something, please tell them what a wonderful job they do because we are proud of each and every single one of them. It's important to remember that if these guys were not on board, this ship would not go anywhere. We would not sail. These people here are here to take care of you should you need them they're here to look after you should they need them and they're here to give you the comfort and knowledge to know that you can come on board this ship knowing that if you ever needed professional medical care and attention that these wonderful people would give you that and so much more i say thank you to you all i wish you a very quiet contract i hope it's very quiet um, but uh, from all of these really fabulous professionals, all these good looking people, apart from one, we say a massive thank you and um, thank you so much for spending this time with us. Cheers, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Yes. I mean, we're, we're being the first in the US yes. and we'll be the first in Miami. So it's proud to be here on this uh, ship with yeah. this team. It was a great team which helped uh, to deliver the ship in the best condition possible in the safer possible way. So uh, this is my part of the engine team. Not everybody is here, not to see that some some duty. We have to finish uh, the the the, the, the um, small pending job mm -hmm. and of course there are some uh, in on duty on the watch. Mm -hmm. It's incredible to see this and uh, Christine I'm sure uh, we're um, so thrilled to be here and of course LNG is a very important part of our sustainability isn't it? It is, it is. So as uh, Fabien said this uh, carnival was the first with Mardi Gras in Port Canaveral and uh, particularly exciting for Miami because we'll open up the terminal uh, for celebration and uh, be ready to uh, begin LNG operations for Miami which as we know is the Queen's capital of the world and we're first um, but there's many other things we're doing for sustainability and uh, from shore power to food digesters reducing single-use plastics and uh, we're really going to start working um, with our guests on reducing food waste as well Lars is here with me and has been a big driver and, and leader behind uh, the work and, and commitments that we've made in this area incredible and all these wonderful ladies and gentlemen look at this 
Look at those. It's like a slightly aging Italian boy band there. Uh, <laughs> fabulous. Look at all these lovely. It's wonderful to see the lady engineers as well. Absolutely fabulous. And I wonder if I could ask the chief if you can sum up very quickly what it means to you and your team to be here on our new ship. It's an honor, first of all, for this assignment for me, my personal, me and all of my team. Of course, it's a, a, a great achievement because we are involved in a new technology, which is the LNG. Under environmental perspective, uh, it's now the best things that we can have on the market. Uh, we are cutting the uh, sulfur emission of 99%. The NOx is uh, at 85%, so we are green fully green in uh, on the on the cruising dust in this moment that's fabulous christine and chief and uh, everybody you know uh, before we continue i just want to say to everybody watching this without this this is the heartbeat of the ship uh, this is the place where without we would be going nowhere and you wouldn't get to see all the places that we go to and, the, and all the things that we take for granted every day, lighting, air conditioning and all those things, it all happens thanks to this nerve center, the engine room and the wonderful ladies and gentlemen who take such great care of them. And, and uh, Christine, the last word with you and a thanks to the team here. Well, we're incredibly proud of this team and the work that they've done uh, as we bring this first ever LNG ship into the port of Miami. We arrive in Southampton tomorrow. We look forward to greeting and welcoming our guests. This is a team that is really working behind the scenes. But as John said, I don't know if they call this the brains and the bridge the heart, but I guess that's a debate between deck and yeah. engine. I'll let them sort that out. I can tell you one thing, they have the most candy here in the <laughs> engine room. <laughs> I saw the cupboard over there. I saw what's over there. I have to show you. Thank you, Christine. Thank I know it means John. a lot to them. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yaki, everybody. Show me what you got, Chef. Show me what you got. I got shrimp. And I got chicken. <laughs> Are we open your mouth? <laughs> There we are. Oh, it's so. The, I wish you could absolutely smell this because it is absolutely divine. All right, here we go. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> and it's, it's actually a show, it's a proper show in here as well. And if you get a chance to book this on any of our ships that have the Tempanyaki, please do it because it is absolutely fabulous. Right, Chef? Yes, exactly. Woo! And remember, remember the saying here is no rice, no power. No power. Yeah. Tempanyaki, wish you were here. You've got to try this. So there you go, the crew are enjoying Shebang tonight. Tomorrow night it'll be everything ready to go for the first voyage, the transatlantic. But tonight it's all about them having some fun and nobody deserves it more. There you go, wish you were here. And let's look at some of the fabulous food that they are enjoying. And this is the food that you will be enjoying here in Shebang.
hang on Eden, don't start yet. Don't you sing a song yet Eden, because I've got to introduce you. Hello everybody. Good evening, thank you for tuning in. It's uh, almost, uh, what is it, 10 o'clock here at night. And um, tonight we've allowed uh, a lot of the crew to come out. They've been, in, as you see, they've enjoyed Shebang. We had a department head dinner with uh, Christine Duffy, our uh, president. And uh, tomorrow night, uh, all these bars and lounges will be quiet because the crew will be getting themselves a good night's sleep because the following morning we're going to have so many people coming on board ready to have a fabulous time. You know, we have all the bells, we have all the whistles, we have all these great things, but there are some traditions that still exist from the original celebration, and that is, of course, the piano bar. And on Sunday night, this place I know, many of you will come here. Some of you will camp out all night to get these seats by the piano. And of course, a lot of you will be here to see this gentleman right here, who is going to be entertaining you in only a way he can. And this, of course, is in. Say hi to everybody. Hang on. All your fans are saying hi to you here. Yes, I can't wait. So for all of you, all of you who are going to be cruising with us and for those who aren't going to be cruising just yet, we have a song especially for you. And it's dedicated tonight, if I may be so bold, to all of the entertainment team who have worked so hard to put this ship ready together for you to have fun. And Eden... This song is for them. Oh, He's... Really the one then, right? Yeah, there you go. Oh, let's go for it, man. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Quando sono solo sognato in sonti manca le parole Si lo so che non c'è luce in uno stanzo quando manca il sole Se non ci sei tu con me, con me Le viniste mostrato un tuo cuore che hai acceso Chiudi dentro me la luce che hai incontrato quest'ora Fabulous stuff, fabulous, Eden. 
I hope you get to see that. You've got uh, hundreds of people sending you messages, and uh, what a great way to finish the night. The night is not over for all the people in the lounge because they are now going to be entertained by me as I sing a selection of Barney songs. Good night, everybody. <laughs> So we have the ice cream machine, we have, of course, the Heroes Bar, and looking wonderful, we've got tennis on the big screens, we've got the guys doing a line, putting all the, um, the cushions ready to go outside on all of the deck chairs, that's the word I'm looking for, and of course we've got the bar all set up with the beverages ready to go for when you're here from Guy's Pig and Anchor and they'll be serving food here. I'll post the menu very soon but it looks absolutely fabulous and if you follow me around here we of course come out onto the patio around here through summer landing not very nice weather because we just left Finland, remember? Come on, open! Oh, maybe they've got it unlocked. I will help as well. <laughs> there we go. There go! Got the magic touch, look at that. I have to figure that out. I think you're just supposed to... Oh, you're not supposed to touch it. And there we go. We've got water in the pool, look at that. And... This is all going to be up here, ready and waiting for you. This is summer landing and this is absolutely beautiful. Even on a cold, brisk, damp night in Finland, it still looks just brilliant. That's Guy's Pig and Anchor, the Heroes Bar and summer landing. Wish you were here. Well, hello there, internet family. It's Lydia Cruz, director here of Old Celebration. And today I'm riding Bolt. I've got Michael, our sports manager in the back. Hi everybody. He's my brave passenger. I haven't told him I don't have a license. And here we go. How fast are we going to go, Mike? As fast as we can. Okay, here we go! Now, friends, Bolt is the first roller coaster at sea. It's been to the here on And it is so much fun. So whatever you do, oh, are you ready to leave? Ready to go? Loose, loose, okay! Just because I've been given the honor of bringing out Celebration, it doesn't make me any bad than the incredible team that are out there that do such an awesome job. Oh, sure. Um, and secondly, and this one is huge, like and subscribe. <laughs> Ring that notification bell so you know when this man is posting more videos. <laughs> I appreciate that you so much. You're welcome. Thank man. you, Lee. Thank and, you. Uh, I just can't get away from a good time.